Hello everybody, now that everybody's getting a little bit more geared up, everybody's starting to jump into mythic pluses a lot more, I'm talking about plus 10s to plus 15s, so to welcome that change, let's start going over some mythic plus affixes. Today, we'll look at raging. Now before we jump into it, let's go over what exactly raging is. What raging is and what it does is when a non-boss mob goes below 30% health, it basically doubles its damage output. So let's go over this in two different ways. One is the basics, and another one is a little bit more of an advanced method. So in the basics, when you're pulling any trash mobs, as soon as they dip down below 30% HP, you should start chain stunning them. That means you as a tank should be stunning them, and your DPS should start chaining as well. What this does is it minimizes the amount of damage that you take with the increase double damage. Something else that you and your DPS should be doing is trying to cleave all the mobs down evenly. You don't want to have to run away from one mob when all three or four other ones are at 70% HP. It's just going to lead to a big DPS loss by having to kite everything in a really staggered fashion. Now as I mentioned kiting, when you're all out of stuns and can no longer CC those stuns together, as a tank what you should be doing is kiting the mobs. So in order to properly kite the mobs what you need to do is first drop an AoE snare. If you do not have one, a DPS should be doing it for you. And then use a movement ability to move as far away from the mobs as possible to just kite them. So they're going to be running to you at reduced speeds, DPS is going to be able to still hit them, and they're going to go down before they hit you with the increased damage. Now as a tank, what are the overarching priorities for dealing with raging? Well, what you should be doing is ensure that you're going to be able to keep active mitigation up below 30% because even one or two global cooldowns of them hitting you can be lethal. And if you just use your movement ability on another pack and it's down, what you should do is pop a defensive cooldown below 30% so that those mobs don't hit you as hard. This is on top of active mitigation. Now let's go over a few other alternatives we have for dealing with raging as tanks. Now let's say you don't want to kite anything, be it because your tanking class doesn't have a lot of mobility, your mobility move is on cooldown, you're tanking a mini boss that cannot be snared or CC'd, you might just feel over geared and you don't need to kite as much, or you might be racing against the clock so all DPS matters including tank DPS. So again as this expansion has drilled into our heads, below 30% you should have active mitigation up at all times. What this means is that if you have to miss one or two seconds of active mitigation at a higher HP value when the mob is doing regular damage, that's perfectly fine as long as you have the active mitigation for periods of high damage, which is below 30% when they enrage. Try to use any DPS cooldowns that you may have below 30%. So for warriors, this might be Avatar, Battlecry, whatever it is that you can do to increase your DPS below 30% to minimize that window in which you're going to be taking 100% extra damage. This also goes for DPSers themselves. They should save those small DPS increases for below 30% to help the tank and the healer. If you are absolutely racing against the clock and tank DPS is a huge matter to you, then the tank and the healer should start rotating defensive abilities when trash pulls go below 30% HP. So typically those cooldowns that you have that reduce damage that are anywhere from 30 seconds to about 2 minutes, you should be rotating those, not stacking them but instead staggering them, maybe 1 to 2 of those cooldowns every pull that your stuns are down, that your active mitigation doesn't have 100% uptime, whatever the case is where you can't necessarily kite or CC stun them, you should be rotating these cooldowns in order to maximize your time and in order to maximize your DPS as well by staying in the fight. Since these smaller cooldowns hold a lot of water when trying to do higher level mythics where you might want to stay in to do a little bit more damage, you should also pick up talent points that help these small cooldowns come off a lot quicker. So for warriors, anger management is perfectly viable for mythic pluses just to get those smaller cooldowns on things like demoralizing shout. So again, just to go over everything, from 100% to 31%, you should need the minimum amount of survivability, which is really only active mitigation is what you should have up during that time. And from 30% to below, you should first try to CC stun them until they go down, second, kite them, and third, if you can't do any of those two, then you should pop a defensive cooldown in order to survive that. And that could be done either by you or by your healer. It could be pain suppression, it could be bark skin, or it could be one of your own personal tank cooldowns as well. 
well. Now, if you are doing higher levels of Mythic Plus and you are doing really big pulls all at the same time, what you might want to do is rotate your defensive cooldowns in the beginning so that these mobs don't hit you too hard. As soon as 30% hits, make sure that you start stunning them and then start kiting them immediately after. But if you are going to do really big pulls, you have to make sure that the top two priorities, your stuns and your kiting abilities, are off of cooldown. If they are not, then you are going to go down with that trash pull guaranteed. But I hope this helps out some of you. I know Raging is the affix this week that's starting it off. So if you're barely jumping into Mythic Pluses, if you're just getting geared through LFR and just working your way into here, don't be too afraid. Raging is not an end-all be-all and it's very easily learned, especially since you can just pop a few cooldowns and survive through it. So get in there, start running your Mythic Pluses, Remember, try to get at least your Mythic 10 plush run every week in order to maximize your weekly loot chest. One last thing before I sign off here, if you guys want to help support the show at zero cost to you, we now have an Amazon affiliate link, link down in the description. If you go ahead and click that, you just go to the Amazon homepage. There is zero additional cost to you, but if you do your Amazon shopping through this link, a small percentage of whatever you shop for goes directly here to help support the channel. And again, this adds zero cost to you. It doesn't increase the price of anything. So if you guys want to help support the channel and show some love, you can go ahead and do any Amazon shopping you would already normally do through the link down in the description below. And as always, good luck tanking out there.